Uh, mistakes are common, but mistakes are great learning opportunities. Uh, today I want to talk about having a temperament tantrum. T-Bird on uh, Modern Blues Harmonica Forum, he asked a question on the forum that I think is an excellent question. Uh, he's saying uh, he has some tuning issues, not sure what the problem is, but he's afraid that by messing up the proper tuning offsets, he's going to screw up the temperament. Never mind about the temperament. Uh, basically, your harp's out of tune. Uh, fix it. Uh, most people don't realize what their preference is in terms of temperament. Do they prefer their harmonicas to be tuned more for chords? Or do they prefer their harmonicas to be tuned for uh, single notes? Or a mix of both? Um, most players could, could use a harp that's set for any one of those three and not care either way. An out-of-tune harmonica is actually the perfect opportunity to figure out what your preference is. So, first thing we're going to address is, one, don't worry about tuning temperament. Number two, we're going to try to fix the tuning. And this is going to be a hunt and peck, uh, kind of fix the biggest problem type of situation. So, better is the enemy of good okay so we're gonna make it good and we're not gonna try to get it any better pick the worst or the two worst reed plates on the reed plate and fix them and then move on okay it's not gonna be perfect but it's gonna be good it's gonna be it's gonna be better than what it what you're you're playing now and it's gonna be better than probably than most of your harps so let's break the tuning down one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we're going to start with the blow plate and there's three octaves this harp's about a million years old and i i knew it was out of tune let's uh play the chords on the four five six that chord actually sounds really good this is usually is an equal tempered harmonica it seems that as it's gone out of tune from what it was in the box originally, it's actually gone in tune in terms of the chords. So I'm, I'm happy with with those chords. Let's do the one, two, three chord. So that's a bit wobbly. So I know that the problem is down here. Up here, that sounds as good as I'm gonna, I'm not gonna fiddle very much with that. So chord wise, point of reference is four five six we're going to tune everything else that's out of tune uh, according to this uh, let's look at single notes let's play a <clears throat> just a simple straight up melody simple thing uh, starting on the four first position so without any accompany Mint without any band backing me up or just playing chords on a keyboard to, to, to accompany, it doesn't sound out of tune. I know that these notes are not equal temperament anymore, so the five blow is probably flat, it's probably gone flat, but when I play that melody, it doesn't stick out to my ears as being flat, so so we're good. Let's play it on the on the lower octave. Again, I'm not picky when it comes to melodies, and, and uh, most people aren't. Probably the only time you have to worry about melodies um, is, is if you play uh, melodic lines uh, alongside another instrument. Um, or if you tune your harps a certain way, and uh, over a certain time you sort of think, I don't like the way that sounds. But if you're playing your harp and you're not having a problem with how the melodies sound, don't worry about it and focus on the chords, okay? I'm going to give you a couple of simple rules to, to follow that you'll stay out of trouble if you do that. So we've determined that in terms of my preference, we know the lower octave is out of tune uh, and that single notes don't bug me on either of these two octaves, but chords do. So I'm going to, I'm going to set the uh, one, two, three to be in tune with the four, five, six, and that'll solve my problems. So we know this chord is good, so let's make this one just as good as that one, in other words. Start with the tonic, one and f uh, four. <coughs> that's the four, that's the one, played together. And that 
it's pretty good. It's, it's probably a little bit out of tune. But as I raise my breath force, it, it comes in tune. So what we do is we follow. I have a little sheet I give out to, to folks. And there's a great little chart on it. <laughs> you can get this on my website. Play the octave split. Increase your breath. Start with low breath and increase your breath force. Does the beating disappear as you increase your breath force? Here, yes, it did. So if we wanted to fix that, we'd either raise this, raise the top note, which here's the four, or lower the bottom note, which is the one. So if we wanted to be picky, we'd, we'd lower the one. Why wouldn't we raise the four? Because we've determined that the four, five, six is where it's at. And we want to stick with that. So this guy's the culprit. But I'm not going to I'm not going to be hasty. I'm not going to jump to conclusions. Let's just continue our investigation. Let's do the thirds, the two and the five. That's all right. I can live with that. Let's do the fifths, the three and the six. That's awful. Let me play it with light breath and increase my breath force and see what happens. <coughs> So, it's, uh, it's inconclusive. Um, Alright, maybe the, it does go away uh, as I increase my breath force. Sometimes, if the notes are so far apart, uh, this phenomenon doesn't work. So what we have to do is get a tuner. And, and look at each note on the tuner. But here, let's play it again. So yeah, definitely, as I raise my breath force, it goes away. So we can either raise the, the top note or lower the bottom note. The top note's the six, we like that. So we can lower the bottom note, the three. So I'm gonna take my little scraper here. Scrapes and brace, brass, scrapes and brace. That's how we speak in Canada. A. Eh? So I lower, scraped a little bit of brass off the bottom. You know, just like that, I'm happy. It's, it's not perfect, but it's close. That, the, I, that chord, the one, two, three chord, now sounds good. Maybe the uh, the thirds are also a bit flat. Let me just bang out a bit of humidity. You see if it's condensation that's causing the problem. That's close enough. Uh, we're going for good. We're not going for perfect. So uh, better is the enemy of good. I'm going to leave it like it is. I've fixed the tuning. I've identified where my priorities are, and I fixed the problem uh, in a way that didn't screw everything up. Had I fixed this octave by tuning this note, I would have taken this chord out of tune, see? So by identifying what my priority was, I was able to zero in and fix the correct thing with, with one smooth motion. So I'm happy with that. Now the draw, the, the, the blow plate, it's easy. There's only three notes, right? The draw plate, you have the two, three, four, that's your chord. The one is a repeat of the four. But we're going to focus on this. And then everything else, well, we'll forget about the five, okay? The, never mind. If you forget about the five, when we play chords on the lower end, one, two, three, four, that's it. We only play this chord. Uh, there's another chord. There's the four, five, six chord. That's a minor chord. A uh, minor chord being the third is a flat third, not a major third. So... Why I say never mind the five, when you do this hunt and peck tuning, it's because whether this is a little bit sharp or a little bit flat or right on zero, uh, since it's a minor chord, it doesn't contribute to the, the how well this chord sounds or how full it sounds. Um, 
you know, you'd have to tune it actually pretty sharp for it to be really harmonic. And since we never really want to do that, we'll just, we'll just accept that this minor chord is always going to sound a bit rough and move on. These octaves go all the way up. Uh, what we're going to do is focus on this chord and fix everything else in relation to this chord. So let's play the two, three, four draw. That sounds a bit rough. Uh, I'll play the two and the three, so the one and the, th the, the tonic and the third. They sound okay. <clears throat> I'd like to play the tonic and the fifth. So what I'll do is I'll just put a finger over the, the third. I, I'm going to do this over here on this side of the camera. So that sounds a bit rough. You could also, if you're troubleshooting, just to go back to the four, five, six, if you wanted to play just the tonic, sorry, where am I? Uh, the tonic and the fifth, you can play the chord, just put your finger over this slot and that'll mute it. What I was doing was taking my finger off, right? So I get that octave. So let's hear the third, let's hear the fifth again here, the two and the four draw. Ooh. So I've increased my breath force and it seemed like the beating was going away, but I really had to, to draw hard on that. So I'm going to double check with the tuner just to see if I'm in the ballpark. So that's a bit sharp. Let me raise my bass pitch just for fun. Okay. So that note is flat. Let's raise it. When your fifths are flat relative to your tonic, your chord will sound bad. And that's what was going on there. You can use a, a file, you can use a scraper, you can use uh, a rotary tool to take brass off. You know, I'm not even going to use the tuner. I'm happy with that. That sounds so much better. Okay, now I'll do the four and the one. That sounds pretty good. So that chord sounds okay now. Uh, melody wise, I'm not worried about how melodies sound. I guess I could play that melody in second position. Yeah, um, melodies, it's, you know, you can be, you need to be pretty far off equal temperament for melodies to sound bad. So if they don't sound bad to your ears, don't worry about them. Seven. That's in tune. Four, eight. That's... So I kind of got carried away. I promised I would only do the two worst notes, but I, I, I just continued to go all the way up the harp. I got distracted. I should have just played those octaves and figured out which one was the absolute worst and then fix it. But right now I've ended up with... So that's pretty good. Um, not bad for a few minutes work. Uh, temperament is meant to suit you, so don't get stressed about it. Don't worry about what you're going to turn your harp into. You're turning your harp into something that you like. Uh, so it might be halfway between uh, you know, temperament for chords and temperament for, for melodies. It might be more towards chords, it might be more towards melodies. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing that says that a particular brand of harp has to be tuned a certain way. These are your harps. You're working on them. You have the freedom to, uh, to do what you like. I hope that helps.